Hi all, I am Nikhil from TKM College of Engineering. Today I will be explaining the working of inverting and non-inverting configurations of an op amp using IC741. An op amp or operational amplifier is a DC coupled high gain electronic amplifier with differential input and single ended output. Due to the negative feedback of the circuit, the op amp, op -amp characteristics like gain, bandwidth, input output impedances all are controlled by external co components. Now let's move on to the pin diagram of IC mu s The terminals 7 and 4 are used to bias the operational amplifier. The terminals, either, either of the terminals 2 or 3 is are used to apply the input. When the op amp is to be configured in, in inverting configuration, the input is applied at terminal 2 and terminal 3 is grounded and the inverting output is obtained at terminal 6. When the op amp is to be configured in non-inverting configuration, the input is applied at terminal 3 and terminal 2 is grounded, the output is obtained at terminal 6. When the bias voltages 7 and 4 are applied, there would be a potential difference between terminals 2 and 3. In order to nullify the effect of this voltage, an external voltage is applied across terminals 1 and 5. There is no connection at terminal 8. The circuit diagram shows the op amp configured in inverting mode of operation. Here R1 is the input resistance, Rf is the feedback resistance. The gain of the op amp is uh, given as AV is equal to minus Rf by R1. If we, if we need a gain of 10, we will give R1 is equal to 1K and Rf is equal to 10K. The output voltage would be 10 times the input voltage V in. The output is 180 degree out of phase from the input voltage. This is the circuit diagram for an op amp configured in non inverting mode. The input is applied at terminal 3, which is the non inverting terminal. Non -inverting terminal. RF provides the feedback resistance and R1 is the input resistance. The gain of the op amp configured in, in a non inverting mode is given by AV is equal to 1 plus RF by R1. For simplicity, we will choose a gain of 11, then RF would be equal to 10, ohm, 10 kilo ohm if we select R1 is equal to 1 kilo ohm. That is when, when uh, the output would be 11 times that of the input applied at terminal 3 and there won't be any phase shift between output terminal and input terminal. The input and output are in phase. Now we have assembled the inverting configuration on the breadboard. This is the IC mu s 741 This is the input resistance R1 which is 1 kilo ohm. This is the feedback resistance RF which is 10 kilo ohm. The gain would obviously be 10 times. Now we will connect the input at terminal 2. The output is obtained from terminal 6 and the power, power is plugged on. Now we apply input sine wave of frequency 1 kilohertz and voltage 5 volt, 0.5 volt. Now let us switch on the output of the function generator. We can see an, uh, we can see the output on the CRO. Now let us measure the voltage of the output waveform on CRO. The output is 10 times the input which is 5 volt. Now let us measure the frequency, same as that of the input 1 kilohertz. For observing the in inverting characteristics of the op amp, we will connect the input to the second channel of the CRO. Now we can see that the input and output are 180 degree out of phase. 
will adjust to see it's clear from the CRO that the input and output are 180 degree out of piece now let's move to non-inverting amplifier the only difference here is that the input is taken from output input is given at terminal 3 and output is connect is uh, taken from the same terminal 6 the input is again a sine wave of frequency 1 kilohertz and voltage 0.5 volt the output of function generator is plugged on now let's measure the output voltage of the waveform The output voltage is 5.6 volt which is almost 11 times the input voltage. Now check the frequency. The frequency is same as that of the input 1 kilohertz. Now let's compare the waveform of the output with that of the input. We will connect the input to channel 2. We can see that the input and output are in phase. I hope you find this video tutorial useful. Thank you.